You were ordered to leave Barnum alive, and you disobeyed that order. Jamie had to believe I was capable of anything. He had to take me to the JBA. First up was the man in charge, Emile Dufresne. I remembered him from Iceland. Next was his lieutenant, Carson Moss. Can't say we hit it off. The person who was going to handle the weapon was Enrica Villablanca. She wasn't much older than my daughter. And finally, there was B.J. Sykes, the techie in charge of their security system. One man I didn't get to meet was Cole Yeager. It seems Dufresne was afraid Yeager was plotting to take over the JBA. So he sent me on an errand to pump Yeager for information, hoping Yeager might try to get the new recruit on his side. On my way to see Yeager, I had an opportunity to sneak into the compound's restricted area. So I took it. Lambert, come in. Sam, what's your status? I'm inside the restricted area. I managed to sneak in undetected while running an errand for a meal. What's new at home? Williams is furious that you went against orders and killed Barnum at Ellsworth. I couldn't get all your equipment. Williams is blocking my access. Did you find what I left you? Yeah, I got it. it wasn't easy to snuck in, though. So what's the plan? Intel. We set up a surveillance grid on the outside. But JBA's electronic countermeasures are keeping us from hearing anything on the inside. You may have noticed some problems with your equipment as well. We need you to tone the jamming down by reducing its electricity input. Blueprints indicate the compound has been rewired so many times that each area is now regulated by a different fuse box. Find all four boxes and tap into them. There should be one on the roof, one near the entrance, one in the warehouse, and one in the loading bay. Their location is on your mini-map. Anything else? Yes. If someone spots you, or if they detect the drop in their grid, the new guy is going to be their first suspect. You can't afford that. While you're there, find ways to prop up your cover and divert suspicion to someone else. Neil is already suspicious of one of his people. Cole Yeager. Hmm, if that's the case, Yeager might be useful to us. Send me any info you find and go from there. Lambert out. Feeling talkative? Who are you? How did you get in here? The stork brought me. Now start talking. What do you want to know? Jamie Washington. Jamie's crazier than a snake on steroids. If he likes you, you're his buddy forever. But if you get him mad, he'll cut your heart out. We're talking stone psycho killer, man. Keep going. They finally nailed him on some bullshit kidnapping charge. But if the feds knew what he'd really done, they would have sent him straight to the chair. Sounds like a nice guy.
That's more than I ever wanted to know about Moss. Says we got us a spy. Some guy is supposed to be running around knocking people out. Didn't Sykes think that last week? And the week before. Still, he was right about Jaeger. Jaeger could have had I'm working for the feds tattooed on his forehead and been less obvious. Sykes is just paranoid. Job's done, Lambert. I got the fuse boxes. Good. Before they find out I'm here. I know, but this has to be done right. It's too important, Sam. So what's next? Find their server. It's probably on the second floor of the compound. Once you're there, open up a connection to Fort Meade. We'll sift around their system and see if we can find anything. On my way. Wish we could... This is the dirt on Cole Yeager. Looks like he's plotting to take over the JBA. I'm not sure Emil will like that. If I send this to Emil, Yeager's dead within the hour. But if I send it to Lambert, there might be a chance to extract Yeager and pump him for information. This is Emil. Something is not right this evening. I want everyone on the lookout. Report anything out of the ordinary. Thanks for the information, Sam. We'll deal with Yeager. 
You'll disappear before Dufresne can get to him. Now get back to the public area before your absence is noted. 